professor, I will test you in the worst way. Don't bring a scantron, it's pop quizzes all day. Cause of our chemistry, we do biology. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. Is there appeal content war? I did a live. I was busy yesterday. Um, so I'm going to touch up on what I was getting at. There are guys who are in the manosphere or outside of the manosphere, but orbiting it or people that make male centric content. And they have guys who make red pill content and purple pill content and blue pill content and black pill content. I don't care about all the pills. I'm using them because they're, they're relevant to the conversation. But what happens is there are guys, and when I say guys, I mean men and women, who are taking shots at um at things that they don't like. And, uh, you know, if you don't like something, I, I get it. But, like I've said before, like, people are taking shots at red pill content, but they're using red pill content. Listen. I don't understand how you're going to have a war with something, or you're going dis to dislike something or disrespect something or say something is not that good and you're saying the exact same thing. How about this? If you got an issue with it and you think the solution or the solutions that it, that what you don't like gives are trash, use the opposite, you know, make your own solution. Like it's, it's kind of, it's kind of weird to have a, 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 a beef, a bone to pick with something because this person said it. And what I mean by it is, if a red person pill said it, a blue person pill don't like it, but he's saying the same thing. No. You know, if a black person pill said it, and a red pill person doesn't like it, but they say the same thing, no. If somebody who's not in the manosphere, but is like orbiting around the manosphere, doesn't like what the people in the manosphere say, and then they say the exact same thing. No, like you're tripping. Like, what is your issue? And what I mean by what I'm asking is, what is your issue that you don't have the common sense? Because a lot of this is, to me, content creation via clout chasing. Because what, what, what it is, in my opinion, is um, when it comes to the manosphere content, the people like who are in the foundation of certain manosphere contents, they're not as big as the people coming along or orbiting the space. So I would say it's, 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 it's kind of a, this group may be shadow banned, but I'm going to, I'm going to listen to this group who may be shadow banned and I'm going to take what they're saying, but I'm not going to be in that space. So I won't be shadow banned. And I'm probably going to grow faster. And that's happening. That's happened numerous times. But here's the thing. It looks like people are doubling back. Like, look, I'm bigger than you. So people should listen to me. And it's like, without understanding the impact, you can have subscribers, but, la but lack impact. You can take somebody's talking points, but... At a certain point, you, they're going to revert back to who you got it from because since you took a person's talking points, you don't have a new one. So you get addicted to taking other people's talking points because I'm bigger than them. It's kind of like um, back in the 60s and 70s when black artists would make a song, then white artists would cover it, and then but they had more radio stations. So you wind up seeing, you know, let's, let's just... Real instance, Lil Richard sang Tutti Fruity and then some white dude sang Tutti Fruity. So that's what's going on. Where you got guys who say one thing in the manosphere space or the red pill space, and then you got guys who are orbiting the manosphere space or in the blue pill space saying the same thing. But quote unquote, they have a bigger audience. But the problem that is gonna that people are gonna have is, you know. If you if you really if it's just um capitalism because to me what happens and I, I brought this up is you got guys who are who are advocating for men versus guys who are 
kind of venture capitalists. They're capitalizing on what, you know, what they think male centric content could possibly make them money. Right. So that's what they're going to do. And the issue with that is those people are going to turn right around and say, oh, I, I was never doing that. I wasn't in that. I, was, I, I never really was in it. I, I had a problem with it. And it's like, listen, it's hard to be 10 toes down when you're a snake. And I think that creates a quote unquote pill content war because you have people who lack ethics and morality and they want to talk about manhood and masculinity versus people who are probably have more morals and ethics than people who are actually talking about masculinity but aren't as big. And sometimes and there are certain people that are big. Like let's you know, past Kevin, you got, you know, uh mediocre tutorials is big. O'Shea is big. Um but I would say like a person like Angerman has impact. You get what I'm saying? So so those, so if, if if that's a big, that's a thing. Like Obsidian has an impact. So I think people are going to go into war, and I'm not talking about those four guys warring with each other. I'm just using those as an example of either big or having an impact. But I say that to say this: at some point, just like anything else, all these snipes and all these shots are taken. People are gonna start shooting back. Just my opinion. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch you on the next one. Peace.